everybody. Thanks for stopping by to go around the barn with us today. Today we're going to be looking at pigs that are in our upcoming online sale. It is Tuesday, June 2nd over on showpig.com. We are going to have a smaller sale this time featuring all March babies. Um, plus we have two um, January boars, a crossbred boar and a team boar that are for sale. Um, they're not in this video, but be watching on the page. They'll each have their own individual video outside. Um, so check that out. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us. We would love for you to come to the farm and look at them in person as well. And we do have some delivery options available as we're getting into these summer months. Um, we will be taking a trailer down somewhere to North Georgia um, following the sale. We're working on finalizing those dates right now. And then also we know Steve Boy Pope Joy is going to be making a couple routes out west and down to Texas as well. And then, you know, we also have other guys that are um, crisscrossing the country as well. So we look forward to any questions. Give us a call. Hey everybody, we're starting today out in the first pin, checking out a pair of Littermate Crossbred Barrows. Yep, these are actually the last two lots in the sale. So dash, uh, excuse me, uh, lot nine and lot 10. So lot nine is 62 dash two. He is this lighter colored one on dad's broom right now. These are exchange rate battlefields born, um, set, or excuse me, March the 9th. And so again, this guy, I think he has that little extra length and extension through that center one third. He's tall at the top of his shoulder when that head comes up and you can see his design and his build all come together. Great rib shape and open depth. He just needs more time to just get that natural muscle definition to keep laying into him. But I think that's one you can take home, easy feed, and he's going to be high quality. Uh, the darker blue barrow there that dad's on right now, this is 62-4. Uh, he will be lot 10 in your sale. And I Ooh. think this guy's a little bit different. He has that de muscle definition. He has that cocky attitude. He has that head shape. And just when he comes out, he's so square in his chest and his knee. He's clean through that head and neck. He's tall at his shoulder. He lays in a big back shape, stout hip shape. He just puts everything together. He might be in a notch, uh, I would say a medium framed package, but I think that guy checks all the boxes uh, to get the job done. Again, you know, that's lot 10. Lot 10. Both bears, what would I say? Tremendous upside potential on both of these cats right here. We are now in pen G2, checking out a pair of litter mate crossbred gilts. Hey, dad is pulling lot number five right now, 62-9. This is exchange rate battlefield born March 19th. And again, this is just uh, a really cocky, really cool little gilt that we have here. Her litter mate sister is the one following her behind. This is the Dash 9 gilt right here. She just has that come and get it attitude, that neat front end, very level and square, but yet she still has that big, thick upper hip, big bone work, big bladed. She's going to be a unique combination between a flashy show gilt and then a powerhouse brood sow. Here's her sister. This is Dash, uh, this is 62 Dash 10. This is lot six. Again, I think you can tell that they are litter mates. Uh, Quite frankly, they're pretty close in type and kind. Perhaps maybe the Dash Tangle is just a little firmer um, and a little maybe offers a little more groove and muscle definition down her back and through her hip and lower stifle. Other than that, she still has that cool, attractive look from the profile. She's just a deeper, darker blue, but two sisters that look honestly pretty similar. It's just up to you which which one you prefer. You know, girls, as we're Putting these hogs together and the trends change into more bone, more elevation with tremendous amount of look. I mean, uh, obviously this nine gilt kind of possesses a lot of those things. And, and then the 10 gilt here just has more natural spread out through her center rib and up over her top. Two great females. Also, I will say this to those people that are looking for those great show gilts, but then a foundation female to put back in the herd. Uh, you've got two gold mines right here. Yeah, and their collar pattern. We all love to put a little bit of blue and calico uh, in, in these hogs, and these two definitely will do that. Hey, everybody. We're now at pin G3, checking out a pair of Littermate Herefords. Woohoo! We are seeing lot number one right here. 
This is a Herbert Gill War Cry Family Guy born March the 9th. And we are super, super excited about her. Um, it goes back to, you know, the Family Guy lines and they're starting to fade out just a little bit and we all know what he did and then that ha and she has that cool look of war cry but my goodness you want to talk about just a rugged stout female but still has look attractiveness design a cool front end you can see there that chest shot she's wide at her knee she's opened up in her chest but yet she's still correcting those angles up front She's big backed and stout hip, but I love her right there. She goes away. We're just that hawk sits inside of her body wall. It's square from hawk to hawk. And then you get off to the side of her and she's clean and attractive through her head and neck. And then obviously drops into an open and full rib. This is just a really neat gilt, no, no matter what angle you are looking at her from. Lindsay, this one here also, from a collar standpoint, Herford view, Herford up collar i mean this one puts it together extremely well absolutely i would say probably one of the best uh markings you could ask for right absolutely. here is lot number seven this is her littermate brother this is 28 dash two again this is a war cry family guy this guy, I do think today he is a bigger, a little bigger outlined and more extended, but can you imagine when this guy hits 270, 280, he's going to be a truck. He already has that big, deep rib in him, but he offers that little extra extension to him. So as you push him to that heavier weight, it's distributed easy, it's distributed well, easily, and he's still clean through that jowl, that front end. He's opened up at his blades, he's stout at his back. I can just imagine this guy as he matures and grows, he's gonna be a power horse. Probably center rib in this guy in back shape. Uh, is about as good as you can put them in. Yeah, oh, we're very excited about this pair. And so if you're in the hunt uh, for some Herefords, give us a holler because we are very excited. This is again, lot seven is the barrow, the light colored, lot one is the gilt. We are now in pin five, checking out a pair of crossbred gilts. Do we have a set in here? I'm gonna start with the wide belted gilt there that dad has on the broom. That is your lot number two in this sale, 60-3 exchange rate, world class. These girls are litter mates, but you want to talk about next level good. There we go. There she is. This is high quality, impressive female. If you want to go to the show and, and you know, just come out with a true hammer, know that you can compete. There she is. But you want to take that same female, go home and elevate your herd. There she is. It is always a positive when you have a little bit of purebred back in that crossbred generation. And that's, you know, she's world class on the bottom side. I mean, we could just describe her and break her down and talk her head to tail, but I don't think we necessarily need to because quite simply, the good ones just need to be said, that's a good one. You can see it. This is her littermate sister. Now, I don't want to take anything away from her. You can find her as lot number three. Quite simply, she's just about a week and a half behind her littermate sister. She's a little greener um, and maybe not as mature in that center body cavity. Quite honestly, this one could surpass her sister just in terms of a stylish look. She may not have all the oomph today that her sister has, but she has the kink tail to definitely grab your attention. Uh, in the show ring. She's a very feminine. She is very attractive. She's great in that hind leg set. She squares. She comes and goes. I think you give this one just a little bit more time and she might surpass uh, her littermate sister. And so a fun, fun pair. Quite honestly, you should just take them both and then see what happens in your sow herd the next generation. I'm just going to throw one thing up at you, sis. Uh, mm -hmm. What was on the bottom side of the pedigree? World class. World class world, outlaw. World class outlaw. Guys, you know how much money it costs to buy an elite world class female. Mm -hmm. It is hard, hard to get your hands on it. You've got it in the crossbred package here, out of the Cobbler Exchange rate, who's been on fire and done a tremendous job uh, for us here. Great combination of females, guys. Absolutely. Check, checking out a crossbred barrel and the crossbred gill. Hey yo, I think this bear right here, he is lot eight, 60 dash one, exchange rate, world class. And is this guy a truck or what? You wanna talk about one that just naturally has all the pieces? 
there he is. He is so bold and thick and stout, but yet stylish. Um, and I think that's a difficult combination uh, to put together. He's not only that, kind of a cool belt pattern put on him just to stand out and kind of grab your attention. But this is a guy that's going to be a low maintenance, easy feeding barrow that's definitely going to get the job done. Um, and you're going to have quite a bit of fun with him this summer. He is just a Mack truck. Would the word big top, big hip, tall shoulders, big legged kind of fit, sis? Uh, to a T. To a T. Okay. So we'll see if we can get the spirited little girl here. That's a nice way to put that. Lot six. 62-10 exchange rate battlefield. We've seen um, some littermate brothers to her earlier here. Um, again, she is a little younger than the Barrow, so she is a September, uh, keep saying September, March 19th. But I think this girl, if she would just slow down and pull the pipe, I know she's green and, and a little immature in her pattern right now, but oh my lands, just slow grow this one. Let her take her home, put her on feet. He, look how square she is from hawk to ground, hawk to hawk, from knee to knee, and pastern to pastern. And that fundamental basics on her, it's going to take you so, so far. She reaches well off of both ends. She has that great natural muscle shape. This is one that I think could be a lot of fun. Just imagine when she comes rolling in at 300 pounds, that girl is going to be a tough one to get her out. That one combines maybe the most look and design outdoors tall, and it's hard to find them with that kind of look and then yet have the power behind your blade up over their loin and out through their hip. Well, we always talk about, you know, wanting them complete, but then when we go to buy hogs, we buy pieces. And this is a girl who has all the pieces in a complete package. Very well said. Hey, thanks for watching our Around the Barn for our online sale coming up on Tuesday. If you have any questions at all, again, don't hesitate to give us a call either at the office or any of our cell phone numbers. We would be glad to help you. Again, have a great day.